Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET how to create an autocomplete text box control using jQuery. See? See here the theme is added. P is Peter. Amar. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new ASP.NET project. Go to File, New, Project. I am choosing ASP.NET Web Application and .NET Framework is 4.6.1. The project name is Autocomplete Textbox. Okay. And from the templates, I am choosing empty. Okay. And the project is successfully created. Open Solution Explorer. I am adding a new web form page to this project. Right click the project name, add new item. I am choosing web form. The web form name is autocomplete. Add. In the source page, I am adding center h1 how to create autocomplete text box using jquery horizontal line after horizontal line i am adding one asp.net text box control open toolbox text box control enter employee name that's it we have done the designing part now let's open the code behind right click the source page view code let's add the connection string in the web.config file for that go to server explorer data connections right click that one add connection my SQL server name is after adding the server name I am selecting the database name sample DB test connection is succeeded ok ok and here the sample db dbo is added under data collections we need this sample db dbo data source right click the sample db dbo go to properties in the properties the third option is a connection string copy that one open solution explorer open web.config file After configuration, I am adding connection string. Add name is equals to my connection. Connection string, which is a data source, I am pasting here. Provide a name. System dot data dot SQL client. After adding the connection string in the web dot config file, switch back to the code behind. Let's add the SQL server namespaces using system.data using system.data.sql client using system.configuration. After adding these namespaces, I'm creating a new method public static list. string the method name is get emp string 
UMP details. In the above, I'm adding web method. We need to add the namespace using system dot web dot services. Now we can add the web method here. Web method. I'm creating an object for the list class list string amp is equals to new list string. I'm adding connection string string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I'm adding my connection string name which is my connection dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection which takes the parameter of main con string SQL query is equals to string dot format and this format method I'm adding the select statement before adding the select statement let's open the SQL server management studio we'll check the table and the column name the table name is the employee table and the column name I'm using for autocomplete is a name. Select name from the table name is dbword.employee copy that one paste here where name like between single quotes percentage percentage I'm adding curly braces in this curly braces I'm adding zero comma and the second parameter we need to add the object which is the EMP details let's open the connection string SQL con dot open method SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command which takes two parameters one is the SQL connection command text and the second one is a connection object which is SQL con SQL data reader SDR is equals to SQL com dot execute reader method Sorry, here is the SQL query. While sgr.read method, I'm adding this object emp.add sgr.getString method. Zero. Let's close the connection string. Close method. Return this object emp. And that's it. We have done the coding part. But to implement the autocomplete text box control, we are using jQuery. So I switch back to the source code. Between the header section, I'm adding script tag script dollar function dollar between double quotes I'm adding the text box ID hash dot autocomplete source function response request I'm creating a variable 
parent is equals to now between these curly braces I'm adding EMP details colon dollar between single quotes I'm adding the text box ID hash dot val method dollar dot ajax here I'm adding the ajax attributes URL colon between double calls the URL is a uh, the web page name which is autocomplete autocomplete dot aspx forward slash get emp method comma data json dot stringify now in the string file method I am adding param comma type between double quotes post comma content type colon application forward slash json cat set is equals to utf8 comma data filter for the data filter I'm adding a function data return data success once the data is available I'm creating a new function data response method dollar dot map data dot d comma function item return value item comma and here also comma I'm adding minimum length to display the autocomplete data from the database length colon 1 that's it we have done the jQuery script but to run this jQuery script properly on the browser we need to add the latest jQuery CDN links for that just visit ajax aspnetcdn.com website to get the ajax cdn links using asp.net ajax from cdn click that one come to the bottom just copy these scripts these two scripts one is the js and second one for the ui.js copy that one after the title i'm pasting here let's check the output on the browser google chrome and here we got the output I'm entering the character C oops something went wrong I'm not getting the autocomplete functionality here the URL is a P missing complete and in the function the first one is a request and the second one is a response that's it I'm reloading the browser again I'm entering the employee name again C and notice here we got the autocomplete functionality is working CH let's add some theme to this autocomplete text box control open the Ajax CDN link website again and notice here the link copy this one 
I'm pasting here yeah, inside the header tags. Now let's check the output, the theme is added or not. I'm reloading the browser. See? See here the theme is added. Theme is Peter. Amar. That's it.